Good morning. <laughs> Hi there friends and adventurers, Heather here from Heather's Hikes and Adventures, but instead of going on a hike or adventure with me today, we are going to be visiting with one of my friends, Kim. Kim from Out on a Limb with Kim. If you're not familiar with her channel, you will be in a little bit, but she's here camping with me today at my site and she was nice enough to agree to let us take a tour of her SUV camper. She has a Honda CRV and has it set up to be an awesome little home on wheels for her adventures as well. And so without further ado, let's say hi to Kim and check out her ride. Well, hello there, Kim. Hi, Heather. Thank you so much for agreeing to show us your SUV camper today. Thank you. No problem. Let's start up front and see what you got going on. I, my uh, SUV, I call her the Wanda. And of course, this is my, um, what do you call this stupid thing? See? see the windshield I mean? cover. See how bad I am? We'll go with windshield cover. Okay. This is my windshield cover. I put the toilet paper right <laughs> on the passenger side. I keep my big cooler here, which has all my dry goods because you never know when a bear might come along. And Gotta be bear aware. Knapsack. I have a lot of water. I always keep my Yeti right here full of ice. Oh, that's a good idea. And then I have this when I go camping. I mean, hiking. When I go hiking, I take this with me because that's extra water. Down here, I have three bags. This bag is my rainy day bag, which has my Kindle, my books, my coloring books, my audio tapes, everything in here in case I'm stuck inside the SUV for, you know, long periods of time. The one in the front is medicine, Tums, powders, tweezers, you name it, anything. I have in here um, all kinds of first aid kits and stuff like that. Um, which you know, I rarely use it, but you never know. This right here is my shower bag. Inside is my brushes, uh, shampoos. I have this little pack right here that has my shampoo, conditioner, body wash. So when I head to the shower, I take this with me. And let's see. That is, this is my mesh netting, which has plastic bags, hats, papers, of course, good old clean oh, stuff. I, have those. I love these. I've got those too. I have a raincoat just in case. I have lights. I have every, just I put so much stuff up here. Two hats in case I lose one. <laughs> Forks, knives, you name it. This right here is my potty. I won't pull it out because I haven't emptied it yet. Don't tell anybody. Okay. No but secret. this is like, look at this. You just cup that baby on and you go right to the bathroom. Oh, I love how it closes again, yeah, too. Man, I really need neat. one of those. And it's hooked to a big two-liter bottle, and I just stick it here in the middle during the night. And I used it three times last night. Awesome. I'm going to make sure I put links to items like awesome. that below, too, so awesome. that people Good. can find those. Here's my baby Jackery. And, of course, my baby Jackery is for my cell phone, my USB fan, stuff like that. My daisy glasses. Gotta have those. You never know. Baby trash can. Oh, so cute. And that's basically about it. It has some mirrors up here. 
Oh, cool. show me your little uh, visor thing. I remember you oh. mentioning that. That was really cool. Yeah. So, if the sun's in my eyes, of course, you just pull it down like this. Emergency caution sign. Also good to have. Yeah, in case I need the police. And then you go like this. And it goes like this. And it's like, it's not full coverage, but it does help. And I have used it quite often. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty handy. It comes in handy. Reading glasses. I have one of these things that you break your window in case you like plunge into the ocean. We won't do that demonstration yeah, today. Okay. So, uh, it's, it's all ready to break that window. And a seatbelt cutter. And of course, sanitation, sanitizer, you know, just. Oh, and I do have some mace in case somebody comes up to the window and wants me. I just, <laughs> you know, I just give them, give them a shot. So, and you know, just your basics, little stuff. So that's it. We can move to the back. So Alrighty. Trunk. Let's go to the trunk. Garage. All right, let's check out the garage. Okay, here's my bed. I keep them. One of my window coverings that goes up here, I keep him right here, so he stores safe and sound right there. And then, of course, all my stuff and all my blankets. You never know how cold it's going to be or how hot it's going to be. This is my cooling blanket in case it's really, really hot. Oh, this I love is, those. These are awesome. I love this thing. Then I have my Astro A1 fridge that is hooked up to my Jackery, which I keep stored back there front is my little mini oven. So Isn't cute. Adorable? I need one of those for mine. I toast. Here's all my plastic bags that keep right here. This is just trash I need to put into the trash can. I have my hammock here. Fire protection. Tripod with the light on it. I have another chair back there. And I have... Oh boy. Yeah. It's getting serious. See, you never know. Never know that Freddy Krueger moment you might have. <laughs> zombies? Yes, zombies. So that's just like a bunch of kind of junky stuff. And of course, the Skeeter Beater thing huh? that I didn't use last night. and We could have used that. Yes. Yeah. And I got all bit up. And of course, here's my five gallon water jug, which is really heavy. <sighs> And doubles as a good workout. Yes, it does. And I just purchased this. And I can't turn it on because the water will come this way. <laughs> so what I do is I turn it and then I get my water out. Very nice. Under here is where I keep all my clothes. Normally I keep all my kitchen stuff under here. But I didn't bring my kitchen stuff this time because I wasn't going to be out here that long. So I keep all my I close and I keep them all in individual little bags. Wow, you've got a lot of storage space yeah. under there. Yeah, it's a lot. An extra towel. I always need those towels. An extra wet shirts. All that stuff. And of course, the little umbrella because the sun's beating down on me. Like and it I, is right now. Yes. yes. <laughs> and I have a big rug that I, you know, roll up and I push in here. And that's on the front of the SUV right now, drying out. But that's my attic. Can't go camping without Twizzlers. No, those are a staple. Fiona. Hi, Fiona. This is my little SUV mascot. Oh, you mascot. make good friends with Smokey. Oh, they haven't even met. Oh. And there's my bed in there. Don't worry, we did not make that kid cry in the background. No, we want to. <laughs> there's my bed. I love very the bedding. Cool. It's yeah, so nice it's and very, colorful very and happy. Here is my, this is where I keep my clothes while I'm sleeping. I just keep them right here. You don't want to wear your bed clothes outside. Keep Definitely. Here's my rape whistle. <whistles> Effective. And all the men are starting to run. Um, yep, I see a bunch of people running to the <laughs> rescue right now. <laughs> I have a little baby fan, which I'm telling you, this thing is unbelievable. Oh, I love that. And that's good placement, too. And I put it right here at night when it's really hot. I just sit it right here. Perfect. And, of course, I keep my, my knife up here. You know, just in case. <laughs> I like the technique. Just in case, hey. If you're a Walking Dead fan, that you'll know what that means. 
So that is this. And then over here on this side. Gotta have this. Middle I of the need night, one of those, man. Middle of the night, man, you get a scratch and you just gotta. Another pair of eyeglasses because I'm always losing them. Down there is my, um, that's for the car if I get a flat tire or something like that. I have an emergency caution light back there. These are for my jackeries. The stuff for my jackery go here. In case you need some bungee cords. I never have enough of those. No. Perfect. Okay, we'll go on the other side. Oh, I do have the rack up here, by the way. Um, and But I think I'm going to take it off and get a big gigantic roof storage box. Like one of the um, hard top ones? Yeah, the really nice toolies that they have. Yeah. I have it's just so expensive. I really would like one. But I'm going to get something up there because I really need to put my chairs and all my stuff up there. I know. I need that for my dirty laundry and outdoor oh, stuff too. That's a good idea. Okay. Then we go over here. And of course I have the mesh coverings over the windows. I have, I made my own reflectix, so they're here. Oh, you're and much handier than me. What I do in the middle of the night is I take this to let the air flow. So I just... Oh, I like the, what's this black material that you used? I like this it's texture. It's blackout curtains. Go to Joanne Fabrics oh. or Michaels and you get blackout curtains. And I just... So, get them on. Perfect. And then I just stick them back up there. And then I have my little emergency sandals if I have to get out real quick because I love to wear my hiking boots, but just in case. And when I go to bed at night, I put my hiking boots in here so I don't bring in the, you know, the dirt. Great hat. Monkey butt. Gotta have monkey butt. Okay. Everybody knows what that feeling's like when that sweat's running down <laughs> your back onto your, you know. Especially in Florida. Yes. So in there, we have my, comp everything computer and electronic is underneath my bed. Oh. Okay. Keep everything stored under there. So this is the workstation. Yes. And that bed actually rolls up. Oh. I can roll that whole entire bed up and it will hook to the back. And then I take that wood that I've been sleeping on and I lay out all my computer stuff and I can I can work. And I awesome. sit right and I sit right here. Sometimes it's a little awkward because you have to sit sideways. And then on the floor, of course. But that's good space. Yes, though. it is. And then this is just odds and ends, pens and pencils and, you know, towels, more towels and just stuff you might need. And then at the bottom in the black bag, it kind of goes under a little bit better under the seat. That is my emergency bathroom. You know, very important to have the other, the other potty, you know, the, oh my God. I had Mexican food last night. I'm in trouble. <laughs> the one you hope you don't have to use. Yes, exactly. But... <laughs> I have another thing up here when I'm doing my videos because I have a, a channel, a YouTube channel. So I put up my phone up here to do videos. And what is your YouTube my channel? My YouTube channel is Out on a Limb with Kim. Okay, I will be sure to link that below. You guys have got to check it out. She's hilarious. I love her videos. <laughs> Thank you. Here's my fan, low, medium, high. And I just. I love this fan. It actually goes 24 hours. Love this fan, but it takes six hours to charge, but it's worth it. And I can vouch for that because I actually have that one too, oh, and it's my favorite. The Coonies. Yeah, I can't turn it off. And then I probably should just add this only because it's sitting right here, but when I potty, this is my. Oh, you know, that's on my wish list. I need these one of things those are amazing. Now, you can't use it all week. You really shouldn't use it all week. <laughs> But you can use hey, it at night. Hey, you can do anything you want. I can. I can. I mean, you know, unless I'm going on a date, and I don't think I should. Do it then, but. So that's there. I keep my medicine up here, so I know, always know where it is. All my lamps and stuff are still up there. Um, just it, totally forgot about this last night. I should have sprayed that because now I got like five welts. I never remember to use my bed spray either until that's, after. That's about it. I get in there and lay down, and I, I love it. I could, I could pretty much live in here if I wanted to. And you I can. can. You have I think it set about up it as a nice I, little yeah. house on wheels. But I love it. I hope to someday go full time. So you're mostly just doing like a part time kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Right now I'm staying around Florida. Um, I go and visit a lot of the state parks. I want to move up to Georgia next and then eventually go out to the RTR, Arizona. Yeah. Because 
it's fun. Very it's nice. Fun meeting so many nice people. Further and longer. Yes, exactly. But um, thank you. So thank much. you so much for showing us yes. your setup. This is such an awesome little setup. Thank you. And you really can appreciate how much space you have in there. You just wouldn't think about that That's looking true. at it from the outside, but it really is. You've got everything you need to yeah, just you know, so go. It's tough sometimes trying to wiggle around, especially using the bathroom, trying to find, <laughs> find your way around. Keeps you in shape. <laughs> Three in the morning, but it's okay. Yes. Oh, and here's my rug. <laughs> it's drying off. But yeah, that's it. That's my little, my little land. All right, folks, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my friend Kim's ride today, the Wanda. And if you did, feel free to give it a like and then make sure you check out her link below. Hop on over there and show her some love too. And while we're showing love, if you're not already subscribed and you do like solo female traveling, van life, hiking, campground reviews, adventures, all of the things in that category, then you would like this channel and you should, you know, maybe consider subscribing. All right, I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>